I, is Jonathan there? I heard him he say he's host, right? He, yeah, I'm here. You're echoing. Maybe it's me. Oh. There we go. That's probably better. There it is. Yeah, we're just waiting on Paul. Well, I can call to order with two out of the three, right? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay. I'm going to call to order the uh, City Council <clears throat> Ordinance Subcommittee regular meeting Tuesday, February 16th. Uh, we're Zooming it, and it's approximately about 6.02 right now. Uh, let the record show that Councilwoman Wet and myself, Councilman. Councilman Rubino is here waiting on Paul. Um, item number one is discussion regarding chapter 180, article one of the code of Orange sidewalk maintenance. Now, the reason why I put that, uh, I'll make it quick for Ann, is uh, Chief, I just got your report. Um, so I just, it's hot off the printer, believe it or not. Um, I'd like, if you don't mind, Chief, I'd like you to speak a little bit about this at the, just, just for the sidewalks for now. We'll sure. absorb the rest of it. Sure. Um, and, and, and basically my request, uh, Councilman, was just to discuss um, the way that yep. uh, law enforcement, um, the way the city police department enforces uh, these ordinances as it relates to the snow removal from, uh, from the sidewalks. Uh, my apologies to the committee for my, uh, I was just uh, finishing the last touches of my report uh, this this evening, uh, about a half hour ago. So um, you, you did get it late and my apologies. Oh, I didn't, your... I didn't expect it. <laughs> no, no. Well, no, I, that's, I'm, gra I'm glad you got it together, but I mean, that's, yeah, and, and they're thankful. There will be an error um, in the, uh, there's a copy of um, what we're proposing for a, uh, a, a ticket book or a violation uh, citations. Um, so there is gonna be an adjustment to that. So what you have in your document uh, will, not, um, uh, will not reflect what I currently have. Uh, Attorney Michelle, my apologies again, I didn't get this to you either. And Bill, I see you're on the line too. So, and basically it, it applies to um, our, right now we're, uh, I, as part of um, enforcing the snow ordinance uh, as it relates to the sidewalks, uh, I've appointed a, our parking authority to be able to go out uh, throughout the city to address complaints that we receive concerning the, um, the people who are failing to remove snow from the sidewalks. Um, our problem that we've discovered over the years is our inability to, um, uh, to enforce the ordinance as it is written Specifically, the way it's done now is, is that um, ordinances that are enforced through the police department are through uh, uh, an infraction, which is a state issued ticket. Um, the, vi the, the violations vary. Um, and in my document from 10 to $100, there's no real specific violation that is available to us to enforce um, any of the ordinances that, are, um, uh, that people violate specifically as we're talking here now that the sidewalk thing so uh i just we've discussed it with attorney michelle and um we figured we at, we wanted to know if there was a way that we can issue the infra issue the fine through a city ticket system versus the state infraction system one of the problems that we have with the state infraction system is is that when an individual is issued an infraction for whatever the amount of the fine may be 
that ticket that any money's collected go to the state general fund, the city receives an extremely small percentage of any um, reimbursement of those tickets. So it, it's really almost, um, it, 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 it's almost non-existent, the monies that we receive. The other issues is that if a person gets, gets a, uh, uh, receives an infraction uh, for a violation of a city ordinance, he has the ability to plead not guilty, receive a court date from the court, and the courts generally either reduce the fines that were administered or uh, uh, eliminates or dismisses the charges. Um, therefore, uh, there are no fines or penalties associated with any um, uh, violation that we find uh, of the city ordinance. So what we're, we're, what we're doing is we're asking the ordinance, the committee to consider allowing the police department to issue fines um, based on any violation of the ordinance and to, use, and to do so through a ticket system that is administered by the city. Any fines that would be collected would be the full amount of that, such as a, uh, a $50 fine, which we're, we're proposing for snow removal on sidewalks, that full $50 would be uh, revenue that would come into the city uh, and would be used and would be going to the general fund versus an extremely small percentage of that. Um, the, uh, you know, the other issue that we, we were discussing is, is that myself, and I wanna give credit to Sergeant Baldus who helped me with this. He's my traffic uh, supervisor. Um, we were talking about, he's also sits on the blight committee uh, for the city of Torrington so that when there are blighted properties that are not um, adhering to um, cleaning sidewalks uh, that we would have the ability to uh, also enforce that. And again, uh, Attorney Michelle, if you can, if I'm wrong, please correct me. But I know we discussed this with Attorney Michelle who stated that if the city were to um, uh, either contract or in and of itself, clear that sidewalk of a blighted property, the city would have the ability to uh, issue a lien against that property until such time as um, we were able to collect any monies that uh, we expended to, to remove the snow from that specific sidewalk of that blighted property. Am I correct, Vic? That's uh, generally correct, yes, Chief, yep. Okay. There might be some little nuances to it, but generally we could do that, yes. Okay, so thank you, sir. So. Um, in the document that I sent to the committee, um, you'll see um, the actual ordinance. And, and when I'm off this call, I'll send it to you, uh, Attorney Michelle uh, and Bill, I'll send it to you as well. Um, it is, it, there, there's some language that specifically speaks of the, any blighted properties of uh, vacated or foreclosed properties. And Attorney Michelle, you'd have to review that just to make sure that we're okay with that uh, before um, obviously this is enacted in any way. The other part of this, um, the other part of the, the ordinance um, that uh, we discovered hadn't been revised for almost 17 years now is that um, it states that after 12 hours, the property owner is required to remove snow from the sidewalk. As, as everybody realizes that this past winter has been pretty difficult, both for the city and for property owners with a back to back snowstorm. So we're proposing that that be increased from 12 to 36 hours. And specifically, we're thinking about, um, and Bill, if you have anything on that, please uh, pipe in if you think that that should be extended or lessened. But what we're thinking of looking at is, is that we have some elderly people. We have a lot of elderly people in our community um, who live alone, who have sidewalks that are, they're responsible for. And it's difficult for them, I believe, to get um, people to clear their sidewalks. Usually they're, uh, it's at the request of a nephew or a grandson or uh, a sibling of some sort to help to come over and remove the snow from their property. And I think a 36 hour time frame would give them um, a better ability to clear the sidewalks from their, um, from their or clear the snow from their sidewalks. So those are, are basically the proposals as it relates to sidewalk removal. The other issue is, is that I know the street department is speaking with Bill. Um, we've talked about how people are putting snow back into the streets. Um, and while there is a state statute for that, the proposal is also to include um, this as a city violation, an ordinance violation, which I believe is under section 180-5, which, which prohibits people from doing so. And again, this would allow the police department to issue city tickets to individuals who are putting snow back into the streets and hampering the efforts of the street department that have already gone through to clear the street and now putting the snow back in there it would allow the, our department to more easily and definitively enforce those statutes or those ordinances. 
So that's the proposal as it relates to snow. And as we were continuing on with our discussion regarding city ordinances, um, we want to also include the other ordinances that, are, that would be a part of our enforcement efforts. As an example, we issue tickets at, on occasions at Co Park for public drinking. And again, those are state infractions. We've discovered that through the court system, many people will plead not guilty. They'll go to court and many of those tickets are nollied or dismissed. Um, so therefore there really is no um, deterrent for people to, um, to drink in our public parks. And we're trying to keep our parks as clean as we possibly can from um, any type of uh, intoxication or things along that line. So there's some other ordinances as you'll see in my proposal that we would like to be included in this ticket book. And we believe that through our research of state statute, the city does have the ability and the authority to issue fines and um, to uh, enforce these city ordinances through this type of a system absent the state infraction system. So that's what my proposal is. Um, again, there's gonna be, I'm sure some tweaking of, of the proposal, some further discussions, um, but that's what we're, I'm asking the ordinance committee to consider and to review um, through uh, the advice of attorney Michelle. Okay. Thank you very much uh, for that. And um, I think it's something, Ann, that we have to get in more in depth in reading and going through that. And if there's any questions, uh, maybe uh, bringing them back to attorney Michelle and seeing if there's any anything that comes from attorney Michelle in the meantime to make sure that what we're doing is uh, on the uppity up. Well, I can, <clears throat> I can respond a little bit because we have, I uh, have met about this. The, the statutes with regard to infractions are a bit complicated and in, in, in some respects contradictory. But basically one of the things I think we're gonna need if we're gonna do anything along these lines is we have to establish a hearing procedure uh, locally. The, the only hearing procedure that we have right now is for blight. It's based on uh, statute uh, number 7-152C, but it only applies to blight. The, the issue with regard to whether it's an infraction or whether it's a local, uh, something local that can be enforced, according to the statutes that I've seen so far, says you can do it locally, but you need to have the hearing procedure. So at the very least, I think we would have to change the ordinance, our ordinances to include this procedure, which shouldn't be, it's not a stretch because we already have it for blight. It would just be a matter of extending it to other kinds of violations. Uh, so that's the, that's the basics without getting into the weeds right now, but but I'll read, I'd like to read the report and then we can come back to it. Uh, Attorney Michelle, also just as a reminder, we also have an appeals process for our parking tickets. We have a, um, we have an individual that has been appointed by the mayor to um, review any um, uh, appeals or any um, um, pushback on any parking tickets that we issue. So there's a process that's currently in place for that as well, sir. Uh, but the statute says that the hearing procedure must be in accordance with section 7-152C. So that's what we have to make sure. If you say you already have that, if it complies with 7-152C, fine. But otherwise, we would have to probably do some something about that. So, okay. That yeah. sounds good. <clears throat> so, Frank, I just had a question. Um, just... So what is the history of this ordinance that, you know, the state infraction um, applies to a municipality and in, in, in our ordinances? I'm just a little confused. So you're asking to do away with the state infraction, have a, a municipal? We're, we're asking that in addition to the infraction that we have the ability to use the municipal tickets, which, be, which would be a lot easier for our officers to enforce. I'll be honest with you, uh, Councilwoman, the, the, the infraction part of the ordinance confuses us as well. And I think that right. this, this also 
um, will help us to better enforce these ordinances and give us some teeth behind our, you know, most of the time, I mean, we're not out, we're not looking to give tickets. And most of the time when we receive complaints regarding uh, uncleared sidewalks, it's just a matter of us going to the homeowner, having a conversation with them, and they more than willingly comply within a period of time. These are for those people who are going to be defiant and are going to prevent, uh, you know, to, to do these things. But as far as the infractions go, there, there's, we, we, and again, we're still somewhat researching this, but there, there's no specific violation or no specific amount of a fine that we can find to issue these. And, and, and of the fines that we have issued, they're all over, it's all over. There's no consistency. There's anywhere from $10 to $100. And we just don't know what kind of a fine to impose upon these people who are violating any type of the city ordinance. I think the city, I, I, and again, I think the ticket system allows us to also as a municipality to collect the revenue and then to stay here uh, totally within the city, within, uh, within the city um, um, general fund. So I don't have any other questions. I just wondered why the history was there and I appreciate what you're trying to do and from the revenue. And I do appreciate the fact that, I mean, I think some people do struggle, uh, particularly in the downtown area, people are trying to walk. I mean, there are some areas that are sidewalks, which I'm familiar with, that people aren't walking. Um, so uh, anyway, but more, to, more to, to discuss, I would imagine. Yeah. It's okay. Uh, um, can, you, can you guys hear me okay? Yes, yes. I can, Bill. Yeah, I just wanted to, to chime in. I, I saw it on the agenda and thought I would dial in. Um, and, I, and I did want to comment on the, on, uh, the chief's uh, timing. I think that 24 to 36 hours is very appropriate. It, it takes the city that long uh, to, to do the sidewalks that we're responsible for, uh, particularly when we get uh, the longer duration storms. Uh, that, that is quite reasonable for us to do. Um, and, and I also wanted to comment on, I know you guys were speaking of snow that goes into the street that people put in the street. And I wanted to, to make you all aware that that's not a little item uh, as far as costs to the city of Torrington. That, that does represent, um, you know, not hundreds, it represents thousands of dollars. I would actually venture to say well over $10,000 over the course of a year, uh, significantly more than $10,000 in redoing work and reusing those materials. So uh, Chief, I wanted to thank you for taking that on. Um, and, and, and again, I find it's, we've stopped. It's mostly <clears throat> educating people. It's not about uh, going out and, and beating them with a stick, but uh, once once they understand and that it's their tax money that's being wasted, they, they do seem to come around. So. I just wanted to zoom in and make myself available if it was all helpful and, and support what you're trying to do. Thank you, Bill. Anything else? If not, I'll we're take, gonna... I'll take Go a ahead. look at it, Frank, and see if yeah. I could, uh, you know, maybe, uh, maybe a Chief and I and whoever else he wants to include, we could meet together and talk about it further, and then we can get a report back to the Ordinance Committee. Yep, that'd be great. I appreciate that. And no rush on it. Just, I mean, I just it's fluid. We'll make it uh, work right. Well, and maybe it'll agree. springtime when there's no snow. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we won't need it anyway. No. Uh, um, thank you. Well, we ought to. I mean, it's a good, it's a good adjustment. We have to do yeah. that. Yeah, uh, we I got know. more snow coming Friday. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, thank right. you. If there's uh, no other... Yeah, I was just gonna say I will forward uh, again I, in your packet. You're gonna see a a, a ticket um, that we've uh, uh, come up with that, that that's the wrong one. We've adjusted it again, so I will forward the newer ticket version up to you so that you can see what the uh, the structure okay. of the fines would look like. And then, uh, all right, okay. thank you. So, Jonathan, yeah, I guess good. on at this point, or I'll move to adjourn. I'll second it. All those in favor? Councilmember uh, Rubino, before you, Council or discussion. Rubino, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Yeah, just just quick question. You don't need me to be on the city council meeting, do you? For this, I don't think so. Yes. No, no, we're not going to do any business. We're not on. Um, 
an agenda item for the ordinance committee agenda. I just want to make sure that I'm good to go yeah. at the end. Well, I'll be there. I'll be there anyway in case it, it comes up. Okay. Yeah, I don't think there's. Oh, okay. I see it on 14. I'll just bring it up that it's under discussion too. Okay, great. And Vic will be there. All thank right. You. Well, thank you, Chief. Thank, thank you, you, Bill. Appreciate your time. Have a good evening. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye -bye. Thank you. So, Jonathan, yeah. we just stay on. Is that um, the plan?